this time we're going to take a look at your transitions. So transitions on your rubric are going to be highlighted in this purplish magenta color, and that will match any of the transitions used within your paragraph. So transitions are at the beginnings of sentences. They're followed by commas, and they introduce new ideas. So in this case, in the Goddess Test by Amy Carter, it's introducing the claim. First of all, introduces the first piece of evidence. Second, introduces the second piece of evidence. And in the book, introduces the third piece of evidence. In conclusion, introduces the concluding statement. And you can see that this person also had a few other pieces of uh, transitions in here introducing their uh, explanation of their evidence, which is awesome. I was looking for at least one at the beginning, one in front of each of your yellows to introduce each piece of evidence, and one introducing your concluding statement. So if you did that, and you had quite a bit of variety with them, so a lot they weren't all first, next, then, also, finally, they weren't all one word, you would have gotten a 10. Most people got something that looked like this. So sufficient use of transitions means that you had them introducing each piece of evidence, but there wasn't much variety when it came to using them. A lot of people said in the book, in the story, in the book, in the story, or first, next, then, finally. Okay, And so what we're looking for is a little bit of variety in length so that you can see this one has one, two, three, four, five, six words as part of the transition. There was only one transition here that had one word in it. Now this one had in, in the goddess test, in the book, and in conclusion. Um, so we would probably want to look at that and try and think about, well, wh where could I try a different transition at one of these places so I'm not starting with all the same word? But otherwise, it was a very good idea. Um, so what you're going to do now is go to the next part of this uh, survey, and it's going to ask you for transitions. What grade did you get that was highlighted in purplish magenta? Did you get a 10? Did you get an 8? I told you that a 7 was kind of between, um, oh, I should say, this should say between an 8 and a 6 that were both highlighted, um, or did you have a 4? All right, and if you had something that you're not sure of how it was explained, maybe you can put other in it and give me a little explanation if you're not sure. Okay? All right, so your next screencast is going to look at evidence.